Live at five, it's offer review, and we've got this new daily clue thing going on. And uh, uh, the first one for today was inside a blitz. You just do a single blitz, and then on the fourth milestone of the blitz, it was located right there. We've got the clues from the dead of mine for tomorrow, and it reads make like a spider and climb onto the web to set yourself free. So I'm guessing that'll have something to do with the web store. Oh, I will put it in tomorrow's video when we find it for sure. So be sure to do a blitz rotation. It automatically gets awarded there for you. And then also a big shout out to Tana for finding a data mine and check this data mine out. What does it say? Preview 2022 part two. This is the second half of the year road ahead and we're getting it in the middle of October, but um, I'm pretty excited about, and hopefully this comes out on Thursday or Friday, probably Friday. Commander, the sands of mystery are thinking, are thinning, offering us a glimpse of the future. Let's not waste this opportunity to learn what fate has in store for Marvel Strike Force. The fourth and final horseman death finally revealed and then look at this right here new characters costumes quality of life improvements and economy updates well i'm interested i want to know all of those things so uh, the data mine suggests that we're going to be getting some sort of post hopefully sometime this week no idea if that'll happen on friday or if it'll happen midweek they don't always happen on fridays they can happen anytime actually also Big shout out to Rocket1420, who uh, has mapped out doing all of the attacks, all the math for the event, you know, doing your Cosmic Crucible, doing your war attacks, doing your Blitz, which happens after the second half of it, after the Cosmic Crucible parts. The main part is going to be spending campaign energy and how many shards you want to get. So... If you want to get 155 Noir shards, you'll have to refresh the campaign nodes, what, 59 times for that to work. And it looks like the last part is offer. And boy, they have a lot of offers today if you want to skip and do this. The max amount of points for this event is 200,000. I think uh, for me, I might be shooting for about half that, right? <laughs> uh, some comments about that. Guess I fail in Spider's Shadow. My first CC opponent has put all the top teams on their CC defense. No way I can beat them all. So I'm losing out on milestone points because of another player outside my alliance. How is it even close to reasonable or fair? I agree. Of keep events in the app. Why are we leaving the app to complete milestones events? Because of money. They save a lot of money. The, the, the payment processing fee for not using Apple and Google is extremely high. And so by doing the web store, they, they bypass that. So it's about money. It's absurd that we have to go onto website to complete these events and earn milestone towards character releases. I agree. Keep your stuff in the app we downloaded. Build your events onto your app, not your web store. It's about brutal not making us to place a piece of gear on a milestone because I didn't go onto a website and make sure I collected and worked on the milestone on there as well as the app is convoluted and demanding. Wow. I agree. I agree. And then lastly, unflattering trends with events. Long gone are the days with uh, enough grinding and actually playing the game. You could complete a milestone event. They spent the last year ever since Thanos giving reminding us of that. Now we are a year past that god-awfulness. The gold lines are being moved farther out. Over the last year, we used to be able to grind and complete all but the last two or three milestones per event. Now it's been stretched out to four or five. Why even get excited for events anymore? To blitz seven plus rotations per day, do 13 war attacks, and max out donations to fall almost five milestones short of completing the whole event. It's just not greed on their part. It's insulting to us. If you want to sell us stuff, fine. You have a whole offer section, but stop taking a dump in a box and calling it an event. Yeah. Someone uh, who's a Boylon 
is calling them whale stones now. So um, it is what it is. It's not a good system. All right, we've got a couple good offers, but most of them are kind of bad today. We're gonna get through them real quickly here. A exclusive offer. Uh, this is for uh, Mr. Negative. Uh, so this is worth $18. Hard to say that the rest of that is worth $22. Limited time offer, one, two, three, trash. This is garbage, oh my God. $30 for 1 million gold and three gold orbs is absolutely atrocious. We've got the Rachted Airman uh, Noir right there. I value these orbs at $3 a piece. So that's six bucks plus another 50 cents maybe for the Armory 14. Doesn't quite add up to $10. And then we've got tons of offers here to help you complete the event night of the spider milestone points boost your progression in campaigns all right we're you, you know they're gonna have to calculate the math on that whether or not it's worth it to you to advance to the next milestone my suggestion is to do these type of purchases closer to the end rather than at the beginning uh there is one that is pretty interesting though and we're gonna get to that uh let's see skip past these none of this is very interesting uh, all right we've got more future shock bundle swing through the future shock milestones with the amazing bundle of resources all right no 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 thank you i just don't like any of these milestone offers uh, here, right here's ones for a hundred dollars so to max out the entire event is two hundred thousand points right there you get eighty thousand points just from this right here uh plus you get some extra points from the campaign energy uh wow not not that great if you ask me uh let's move on uh and we're there's one offer i want to talk about and that is this right here on the trail mini booster so if you've already done the 50s and you're thinking about doing the 100s uh this is a better value right here because you get you get the extra points from that right there so Better, not as good as the 50s, but it's a little bit better than the 100s. All right, no thank you. We've got a five to seven red star draft for Skylet Spider for 30 US dollars. Equal chances, five, six, or seven. Uh, this is kind of a Kraken snack if you're looking to max out red stars on every character in the game. Uh, that's one way of approaching it. Uh, very pricey. This has been an offer we've had in here every day. If you buy this offer twice, doesn't quite give you enough to take a single character from five to six stars. Morgan Le Fay, uh, I like these when they're closer to $3. They average 3.54 Morgan Fay shards per orb. All right, similar story there. Uh, outrageous pricing, 50 character shards for $35. All right, and then we've got Spider Weaver, 50 character shards for $35. And same thing right here, Iron Impact Hulkbuster, 50 characters for $35. It's just the absolute worst pricing that they have on character shards is when it's 50 character shards for $35. Uh, we got Sunfire. Now, um, Sunfire, 75 character shards for $30. And the points that you get in the Cosmic Crucible are uh, are based off of how many, uh, well, what is several of the events for this week. It's, it's based off the number of stars that you have um i believe the blitz and the cosmic crucible if i'm not mistaken are, are based off the the amount of stars that you have on your unlimited i think that's a bad change instead of being gear tier now it's based off of just how much money you spent on yellow stars not a fan 75 character shards for 30 dollars all right uh weapon 13 for phantom x uh, 75 character shards for $30. Uh, again, this is like the least useful member on the team. Um, you know, but uh, they kind of make you upgrade them, kind of like Scarlet Witch. And then Sorcerer Supremes, I think this is a terrible offer. Uh, we've had better offers on these independently for sure. Not a great price. 75 uh, times two for $75, not great. Now we've got Goblin Queen, Madeline Pryor, Relatively uneventful character. I would expect that she's going to be farmable sooner than later. Uh, not a lot of use for her. I'm not not interested in purchasing her and upgrading her. Just uh, of not of interest of that. We've got Disco Diva offer. We knew that we were going to have tons of offers for these 
these guys for the event. 50 character shards for $35. Again, not great pricing. Sister Grim, Nico, 50 character shards for $15. Uh, she, you know, what are you going to do with their war offense team, right? Uh, but not the worst deal. All right. And then we've got Destroyer of the Universes, uh, which I don't think is the worst deal. He is in the arena orbs and he's also in the RTA pass. But we got 75 character shards for 20 US dollars. Dr. Voodoo, who is hard node farmable. Uh, we got $10 for 50 character shards. Not the worst, but you can get him on a node. And then Legacy 3 Orb is not that interesting. And then the last offer that we're going to review for today is the Legacy 2 Orb offer. If you're looking for T3s, uh, this gives between 350 and 400 T3s. Probably the most effective way of purchasing T3s inside the store. Also gives a small amount of gold, purple gear, uh, and characters from year two. So this is, and the, but the main reason why people buy this is for the T3 purple ability materials. Uh, the rest of the offers are largely uneventful. I'm not going to go through all of these. Uh, it's the same offers we've had for about a week. And I didn't see anything different or interesting in there at all. Uh, someone added it up. They're having like uh, one of these days last week, we had 83 offers in the store. My goodness. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And keep on gaming. Bye for now.